Right guys, so we are here at day two of the Arnold's final day. I'm gonna go get some breakfast, so what am I gonna eat today? <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> You got omelette, potato chips, bread, <laughs> that's butter, not cream, uh, pretty now, and some fruit. Then maybe get some uh, croissants after, because she's croissant looks amazing. Mm -hmm. She looks amazing, look at that. Smile at the camera. <laughs> Tom looks like a strong man food, look at this. Take her that man. Making the most of it. Let's talk here and go. Because, because every year in Arnold, especially this year, it's crowded, bumper bumper. You can't walk around with uh, Thor here, Spantouche here, Tom here, Martinez here. Take him to, to the back route. That felt a bit intense. Yeah, yeah. I said, no photos. I told this two-year-old, get out of here. A bit intense. Not was. You're really out of soul, I was so like, I don't know. It was horrible. This is mad, they didn't have the bus, yeah. sorry for the athletes. That's something they should have. God knows, probably forgot to come back or something. Uh, These guys are not the average size human beings, so they can't really hide. You know, it was it was interesting because the deadlift looked a little tactical. You know, Bobby Thompson coming in and only doing one lift to get second place. And then I think Thor surprised everybody coming out with the frame carry. So I think today's going to be big, especially for Tom Stolman on the uh, Apollo press. You know, getting some points. He's in fourth place. Tom Sevens, or, uh, Evans came out with a big lift yesterday. So I think it's going to be electric in here today. I'm really excited for the Denny Stones. I think that's going to separate the competition as the Denny Stones. Uh, Hooper, Hooper won, Thor two, and Thomas Stolman's gonna come in third. That's what I got there. That's what I got there. I know, I know it's his channel, but like, I think so. But I hope, I mean, I'd love for him to come in first. That'd be awesome. But I just think he's back in points a lot. So I think it's gonna be tough for him to come up with Mitch Hooper. Hooper. Just is gonna get, he's gonna nickel and diamond with second and third places. It's gonna be hard to close the gap. Oh, I love it. Let's go, stay spicy. Oh, that's awesome. You know what, one thing I really wanna do is I want, they have that new thing where they uh like they'll do like a um like a, a cameo for them i want to get the cameo when this guy hits 225 right here logan see when he hits 225 i'm gonna him a cameo and they're gonna hype him up afterwards that's what's gonna happen let's go stay spicy
Jeez, I wonder what's happened there. He needs to get this, does he? Nah, he's not got it, man. Jeez, oh. Is that real? Is that right, Slice? Are you winding me up, mate? Do not, do not wind me up. Tom's third confirmed 100%. It's not simple math. I'm not, I'm, I know you're saying 100%. I'm, I am know you're saying 100%. Wait, Sinead's calling. Sinead's calling. Oh, shit. Oh, it's all gone wrong. Speak to me, speak to me. Where's the lights I got? Oh my God, I'm over here. Oh, what's happened? What's happened? Where's the final standing? My toy is burning! Yes! Jeez, yo, oh, two times champion. Come on, Tom. Thank you, guys. That is absolutely insane. <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, Tom, man. I fucking love you, man. Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's deserving to cry. <laughs> we'll get him to talk. Right guys, so Arnold's is done. Finally, the curse is over. You know, I kind of, I did everything I could. I didn't make really any mistakes. The second day was obviously my better event. Uh, the Denny Stone, you know, that's the first I've been. And uh, some incredible guys did some incredible times. And then we had the Axel, which I knew I was confident on. And then the stones at the end, you could see how hard it was. I mean, Kilikoski's unbelievable at that. And 
for you know Mitchell Hooper, congratulations to him, two-time champion, unreal. But for me, it was just to get on the podium. That was my main goal. I knew that you know these events they're hit and miss with me, and I can lose my head a lot in the Arnolds. And I proved that now, you know, being still being like six points behind or something going into the last event, I then took over half hour. So yeah, I'm buzzing. I mean, one of the only handful of British boys, to, guys to get on the podium, and it's only, the only way is up now. You know, winning Britain Strawers, man, podium at Arnolds. Let's all let's run it back at UK Arnolds as well. And uh, yeah, I'm motivated and hungry to keep this year going. But this was the one that was in my head for a long time. You know, a podium at Rogue, podium that all, most of the Giants' lives, and this was a competition that I couldn't do. And you know, hopefully that shut a lot of people up because I know when when my head's in it, I can battle to the end. And that's what I've done at Shaw Classic. That's what I've done at Rogue in the past. And now this is my bowling event. It's not anymore. So hopefully it's just onwards and upwards now. But guys, thank you for the support. Big shout out to Luke and the family back home. This is my first competition by myself as well. So the first day I was a bit, you know, not having Luke beside my side is a bit weird, but you know, I had to kind of just man up and, uh, you know, I've got Sinead here. I've got the people that, Sinead knows me inside out as well. And so she does, she can do Luke's role as well. So yeah, but that's how I kind of woke up in the second day and had to kind of just go for it. I didn't let my head go down. Anything happens in Strawman and yeah, I'm buzzing to be uh, the third place at Arnold Classic. Unbelievable. So yeah, but you guys stay safe, smile and stay spicy. Bye.